The next thing we got to do is block out. And blocking out is, is essentially structuring every asset in every scene how we want it to look in the camera. You go through frame by frame, scene by scene, all the way through. This is called blocking out. So after you have your story, after you have your storyboard, after you have your animatic, and after you have your assets, we block out. And you go scene by scene, frame by frame, all the way through. Okay? Once you have that done, now it comes time to light. And lighting is, lighting takes us from good to great. And guess what? You're going to harness the power of the Blender community. Um, the Dylan Goo three-point lighting tutorial is spectacular. Everyone should watch that. It's like Fundamentals of Lighting 101. It's on the Blender channel. We're going to harness the power of the Blender community. Also, Polyfjord um, has, a, has a really fun tutorial on cinematic lighting. There's loads and loads of Blender lighting tutorials. Lighting makes and slash or breaks everything we do in Blender, okay? So now that we have lit our assets, now we're ready to, to bring them to life. We're ready to rig them. And rigging, I think, honestly, to me, rigging is like the summit of, of Everest. It's like we get to base camp and it's like, holy cow, that was exhausting. We're only at base camp. What do you mean we have to hang out here for a few days and acclimatize before we can go any further or we'll die? The lowest hanging fruit is Mixamo. Go to Mixamo, create an account, find the rig you want, and hook your character up to it. Walk cycle, boom, got it. T to get you into to adding a rig onto a character and putting that into your world, use Mixamo. It is the lowest hanging fruit. That said, it's kind of cheating, okay? Because we, we really need to do this ourselves. But if you give yourself a two-week deadline, um, you kind of have to use Mixamo. If you give yourself 30 days, then you can really do this yourself. So Mixamo rigging is just a great beginner's entrance. Okay, so now that we have our rigs, now we're gonna render. And render settings, um, you know, if you're gonna use cycles, great. If you if you don't have a great system, you're gonna you're gonna use Eevee. Put your render at 128, put your viewport at 128, turn ambient occlusion on, turn bloom on, turn screen space reflections on. Take your shadows, bump these all the way up as high as they can go and go to color management, look, high contrast. Like that right there will sex up your final render enough. Okay, now we render, and the render process is going to take time. And we're gonna render PNGs, every individual frame. So, and you'll, you'll see that. Each one of these individual frames down here on our animation needs to be rendered out as a PNG, as an image. And once they're all rendered out, then we go back to our animatic, to the video editing file in which our animatic exists. And we just drag and drop our image sequences from our animated frames over our storyboard thumbnail sketches. And now we do video editing. And video editing in Blender is an art form in and of itself. And we're going to have to learn that. And any question you have, the internet has already given you an answer. Okay? We're going to harness the power of the Blender community. And uh, there's a channel called Mikey Cal, who, uh, when I was learning how to do video editing a couple of years ago, I was watching all of this guy's videos. Like, really does great work. Um, and he's just, yeah, he's just kind of, just kind of a feel good YouTuber. You know, you just, you just feel good. You feel like you can do the thing. Um, which is which is great. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Then, once we've rendered, once we've imported our image sequences into our video editing software on top of our animatic, and we have finalized it, we've tweaked the sound to make sure that our sound lines up with our action, then we export the video file. And just like that, we've made an animation. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to make an animation in Blender. So, with all that said, here's the Wolfman animation that I made.
again. There you go that that soup to nuts how to do it so if you liked this if you enjoyed this if you found value in this then by all means like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one